continue this conversation with Democratic Congressman Jared Moskowitz of Florida. He serves on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, Congressman, I mean, let's just jump right into this. Do you believe the prime minister is doing enough to secure the release of the remaining hostages? Uh, and, and what are your reflections on this day? Yeah, Jim, thanks for having me. Obviously, you know, one year since October 7th, um, you know, it reminds me, you know, a little bit of the one year after 9-11, because for Israelis, that's what October 7th was for them. Uh, but it's also still not over because you still have hostages um, in being held in Gaza, families still waiting to find out what's happening to their loved ones. And yeah. the Middle East in, in turmoil because of what Hamas did on o October 7th. You know, as far as the prime minister uh, is concerned, I mean, you know, Israel has had to make the difficult decision uh, about no longer appeasing the situation. They can no longer allow terrorist organizations to be on their border, whether it be Hamas or Hezbollah, with tens of thousands of missiles, launching them into Israel uh, whenever they want, making people, tens of thousands of people flee their home in the north with Hezbollah. Israel's decided to go and try to degrade those capabilities on their border. <clears throat> I'm for a ceasefire deal uh, in Gaza, but we need to be clear. We're still waiting for Sinwar to accept the deal. Sinwar is the Osama bin Laden of October 7th, uh, and it is Sinwar who has put everyone in Gaza in terrible danger, and it is Sinwar who is refusing to release those hostages because he's worried that he will not survive once he lets those hostages go. Uh, and so I hope we can get a deal. Everyone needs a deal. The hostage families need a deal. The innocent civilians uh, in Gaza need a deal. But it is Sinwar, the uh, architect of October 7th, who is holding up that deal. And as you know, Congressman, the president has been pretty clear. He's frustrated with the Israeli prime minister and Netanyahu is escalating the fight against uh, these three Iran-backed uh, proxies, Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis. He's vowing to retaliate against Iran for its missile barrage last week. Can anything really be done diplomatically, do you think, in your view at this point? Or is this something that militarily is just going to have to play itself out? Your sense of it. So I think militarily it's going to have to play itself out, but that doesn't mean you can't contain uh, the military action so that you don't have a wider spread war. I think that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, obviously, in Israel's position, you can't allow any country to allow 180 ballistic missiles to be launched your way and, and not retaliate. Obviously, if that happened in a European country, we would expect that European ally uh, to retaliate. And so right now, the whole idea is to make sure that this doesn't spill over and become a regional war. But, but right now, yes, Israel is going to degrade the military capabilities of Iran and their proxies on their border. That's probably going to go on for another several weeks before you know, we regroup and figure out if, we can, if there can be some sort of deal to be had. And Congressman, I mean, let's talk about her.